hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with a lovely woman who's talking to us from Miami. Judith Costa, say hello to our audience. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Judith? And um, this is another interesting, um, as a matter of fact, recently I had another um, guest who speaks on similar topics, but very uniquely different. So who is she? She's an unconditional life coach. And right there, you think um, love coach. And right there, you think, okay, life coach is usually life coach. And a love coach is a, usually a love coach. But unconditional love coach, then you think, oh, well, there's something of added value here. She's a self-love expert, a seminar leader, a writer, speaker, and she has a master's degree in uh, analytical psychology and psychotherapy and an MBA. She's a certified consultant and teacher of the Akashic Records and, uh, and a happiness trainer. So there's a lot of, you know, in a CV, that's a lot of lines, you know, and people start asking us as well, how old is this chick? How old is she? <laughs> so many things, so many hats, but really it seems like a progressive uh, a development of, of one hat giving way to another hat. What does she do? She helps people to overcome their inner blocks to love. And a lot of us knows how difficult that really is. And she specializes in helping her clients have a better relationship with themselves, first and foremost, which transforms their lives already, allowing them to create abundance, well-being, better relationships, and become happier all in all. She believes that love starts by loving yourself. And when you have love within, you can share it obviously with others. She offers private lessons, private sessions, uh, workshops, and offers also retreats. Some of her programs are called Fall in Love with Yourself, Fall in Love with Your Body, How to Manifest Your Desires, and How to Find Your Soulmate. Big, big topic. Uh, I, I would say at least it used to be more 90%, but now it's gone down to 60% people. When am I going to meet my soulmate? What do they look like? You know, they usually ask me. Um, now she's the founder of the organization called Love, Love and Love, which is a space where everyone can join for free to connect with the world of love and find resources needed and receive support. And I'll be including all of her social media and her websites. Um, Judith, where do we start? And of course, we're going to talk about love, obviously, but- um, I think so. <laughs> yeah, but I like the idea of soul mates. Uh, when we talk about love and unconditional love, uh, inevitably, and I'll tell you how it comes to me, People ask me, well, where is my soul mate? What's the difference between soul mate and twin flame? Is there a soul mate out there for me? You know, all of these questions. And I will give you the floor with this very difficult question. Um, in your mind, what are soul mates? Do they really exist? Oh, for sure they exist. And it's... It's something very near to my heart because it's what changed my life. Mm -hmm. um, I read a book about soulmates and I'm a romantic. And I okay, found okay, wait, wait, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you that before we got on, we were chatting. And I said, well, what's a woman, what's a nice girl like you doing in Florida? And she said, well, I'm originally from Barcelona. And I thought, oh, well. And then she said, well, I found my soulmate. <laughs> and then we went, then she moved. And I'm I thinking, moved to mm -hmm. find my soulmate. Oh, I was oh. here. It was so funny that it's long. It's a longer story. But I will I will say that what seemed impossible, like yes. to leave my, my city, my town, right, my people, right. and all of this, in a certain moment in time, came so clear. And I didn't know, but I had enough signs that this person was in New York. Then yes, soulmates exist. How yes. long ago was this? More than one. How long ago was Thirteen that? Thirteen years ago. Thirteen years ago, and you said something about have we have more than one? Yeah, soulmates in plural. And this oh wait, is a very no, no, wait. Let's start from the beginning. Go ahead. Go. 
uh, it's a very interesting concept because people have this romantic idea that yes. there is someone special for me waiting there and and it's so complicated to find this person because how 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 the hell are you gonna really find this exact person and i will say that we have soulmates of a different kind soulmates i guess we just before the definition i will say that they are eternal part many people think that uh the concept of soulmates is this special person that it's waiting for me uh somewhere somewhat and it's very complicated to find and that's not true because soulmates are just before the definition before eternal partners they have been together in the past in past life they can be together in this incarnation and for sure they are going to be together in the future then we have just more than one person destined to be together with with us just as of a different kind um there can, is can a, you give us an example yeah i was i was about to say that there is a book uh about the uh, the journey of the soul where there is a category that i like and and he um newton that it's the author about this talks about the primary soulmate that it's usually someone with whom we 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 get married we start like a long uh connection mm -hmm. yeah but a soulmate can be someone that it's a colleague that it's your best friend usually parents are not but siblings this aunt that it's a special or this grandma that has been in your life all 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 the time and knows you and gets you and and usually uh soulmates can can agree to show up in the life of another person in a concrete moment in time when you need specifically the talents that this person has and help you support you and then leave then it's it's doesn't mean that it has to be this person that you are romantically involved uh, but it's a person that for sure has the key of your heart okay. and may use it to awaken the love, to transform your life in a certain way. Then it's not about how long is the yes. togetherness. Mm -hmm. It's about how important is the connection that is able to transform your life in a certain way. Uh -huh. And for example, when, when my story starts changing uh, all my life, uh, after reading this book of Brian Weiss, Only Love is Real. Brian Weiss, yeah. The, yeah, the, I, Akash, the Akashic Records man, really. Brian Weiss. No, no he, 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 he is, or he was, he's still alive. A psychiatrist. Yeah, that yeah. He was mm -hmm. the head of psychiatry of Mount Sinai, but he was doing regression, past life regression. Right, past life regressions, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That thing. And uh, um, I mentioned him because then what I wanted was to demonstrate myself that my husband at that time was my soulmate. And what happened is that so intense was my desire that I started manifesting this soulmate in my life. And I started uh, dreaming with someone that was important when I was 16 years old in my life that uh, made me or I suffer a lot for this love, my first love. Mm -hmm. And then meeting him in the middle of the street of a big city and and having a sort of experience it's just because of the concept of soulmates. Then soulmates uh that that they are even not together in life can support each other in so many different ways then it's a very vast concept okay now the way you talk about this is um is quite different from the way most people believe soulmates to be in their lives and so my question to you is when clients come to you, do they specifically ask you to work with them concerning soulmates? Yeah, at the beginning of my career, my first worship was how to find your soulmate. And even people that they didn't believe in soulmates register. And I told them, every time I say soulmate, you find the right partner for me now. And I did many past life regression and I opened Akashic records of people and this is one of the questions that people ask yeah, all the time. Sure. I mean, what happened yeah. with this relationship? He was my soulmate or not? Why we didn't end right, up sure. together and all of this. And sometimes soul connections, we travel in families, but not families in flesh. We travel, right. we travel in soul, soul families. families. Yeah. And sometimes an intense soul connection can be more important in your life than a soulmate. And you don't have to be sure. disappointed if, if this person is or it's not your soulmate. What is important is that 
uh, you have to make yourself ready for this kind of love. When we talk about unconditional love yeah. uh, uh, relationship, is because you understand that the love doesn't come from another person, and 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 really, this is an exchange of love. Yeah. It's more that you already love yourself. You already are the creator of love in your life, mm -hmm. and you just want to be with someone else that already love himself or herself mm -hmm. and with whom you can share this love and establish a different kind of connection and mm -hmm. this is the kind of client that usually comes to me so when yeah. that has realized that i have been in all my relationships and there is a pattern here that is yeah. repeating or something is not working mm -hmm. but they they are not interested in keep looking for the right person and dating right. and dating him. right they are interested in looking inside and saying okay what what are my beliefs around yeah. love yeah. What, what is happening in my world? Is there anything that I need to let go? Is there some forgiveness work that need to happen mm -hmm. in order for me to be really and open to love? Mm -hmm. my this heart is, is quite really difficult. Ready. This is quite difficult because, I mean, I could remember conversations with clients where, you know, they say, look, I've been doing the work. I've been years and years and I've been doing the work. Why don't I meet anyone? You know, and uh, it's quite difficult to give a, a direct answer to that. And obviously, the universe doesn't believe they are ready or they are not ready you know even this no, incessant but, way of... no but it's 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 very common because there is a part of the brain called yeah. unconscious where we right. store a lot of memories and yes. sometimes we are unaware of what we do we right. say we want i have a woman in in the world that say i i dated 200 men uh -huh. and yeah. She was still stuck there. But when, when we go through all these unconscious beliefs, and it can be even an agreement that you made with someone like, I will love you forever. Yeah. And you have forgotten, but the agreement is still in place. Yeah. It might be that you don't love yourself. It might be that you your your heart is not open because right. when you were hurt and someone uh, abandoned you or something happened, then you yeah. kind of close it with the whole key, throw the key away and say, nobody's going to hurt me anymore yeah. and you have forgotten that that you, you put this agreement with yourself in place then i'm not gonna say that it's super simple but i help many many people and sometimes it's like it's you decode this thing yeah like what is exactly mm -hmm. and we do it through the workshop and many things shift then yeah. it's not really complicated it's not that you have to do the work and again and again it's like when I'm sabotaging the process, when I'm holding myself back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, this is also true. I mean, when people say I'm doing the work, I'm not exactly sure if they understand what it, what the work is. You know, why are, why is it, be, why is it called work? Why are they, you know? And um, and so I'm very happy that you pointed it out, especially the concept of there are many mates that cross our paths in lives over and over again and they just reincarnate in a different even uh role in our life not necessarily yeah. a, a partner um interesting and mm -hmm. what even it looks from outside a disaster of a relationship and you say oh i have lost my time with this person and it didn't end but well that's not lost time in relationships you always learn something that prepares you to be the better partner in your next right. relationship. Right. But sometimes, for example, I, I have seen and I have experienced in myself, in my in my own relationship, like that there is a pattern where you don't feel like the other person loves you the way you want. You don't feel that you are worthy for this yes. person or, mm -hmm. or that this person really supports you. Right. But this is because you are in this relationship to 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 really practice how to love yourself no matter what. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then this person is taking out this of the relationship for you to figure it out on your own. Yeah, yeah. And we are yeah. so quick to judge relationships and to compare with others. And your soul is here with a plan. Your yeah. your homework yeah. or the plans, the agenda that your soul has may not have anything in common with mine. And yeah. we are here for different reasons and we establish relationships for different reasons. Then it's not coffee for everyone. Right, here, right, right. <laughs> Which brings me now to the notion of life purpose uh working with the akashic records and reading for people that's a big question everyone asks Ev everyone i don't you know i don't want to say 100 percent, but a good 90 yeah. percent. what is my soul's purpose and i always am dumbfounded when that question comes uh, and I, 
Well, you have the floor, Judith. You and tell it's me. It's really simple, and That's people get, simple. <laughs> yeah, people get very like, oh, really? That's it. We mm -hmm. are here to learn how to love and how to be loved. We are here mm -hmm. to be happy. We are here to be to live a joy a joyful life. Mm -hmm. And it it that's it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. You're here to be authentically yourself and to shine with your own light. And we have so many things that distract us because again, there is a misunderstanding with the idea of the life purpose. It seems that it's a journey to a destination. Like if I do this, yeah. step mm -hmm. one, step two, step three, then yeah. I will arrive to my life purpose. And then I'm serving yeah. like something important. Right. And I'm here, like it's my life is worth it. No, mm -hmm. you, you, your worth it's within you because it's your birthright. And yes. you are important just because you exist. And uh -huh. if you are just you and you take all the masks and, and devote your life to become a little bit more you and a little bit yeah. more uh -huh. loving uh -huh. and a little now, bit more connected. We mentioned with um, that you are an Akashic Records teacher, trainer. Okay. Now, um, when you read for a person through their Akashic Records and you go through their soul group of origin, their gifts and things like that, there is in that reading, I, I do the same, I re, I'm a reader, and there is a lot of, in that reading, it points directly to what their gift is and what they can um, offer, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if this is your experience uh, when you do an Akashic reading for a person. There are people that get, uh, every, every consultation is very particular and individual. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on the questions of the client uh -huh. and the client will receive exactly what they need at the moment. Okay. So mm -hmm. Some clients yeah, receive specific instructions about, yeah, you're going to work with kids or, okay, or you can do this or you yeah. can do that. Mm -hmm. But because uh, the universe tends to send me a lot of people that are working on terms of self-love, yeah, I, I have tons of conversations about if you just become yourself, the mm -hmm. rest will follow. Yes. And mm -hmm. the most important is not to put pressure on yourself or to sacrifice your life for others. The most mm -hmm. important is just to be you. Yeah. Then this is repeated again yeah. and again and again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, I'm a teacher of the Akashic Records because it's great to uh, do consultations for others, mm -hmm. but anyone can learn this. Of I don't course. have a special gift. I mean, I can train someone to open their Akashic Records in a weekend, level one, yeah. Yeah. and you have the connection. Yeah. And I think that everything that you can do for yourself has, has value. Of then course. it's good to trust others, but it's better if you can uh -huh, just talk uh -huh. to them. That gift. Um, you have, um, because I'm thinking here, you're a writer, right? I'm looking and I don't see the name of uh, books, names of no, titles. If I will be a book, I will be an author, but I'm a writer because I write ah. uh, uh, my blogs and all of this. And we are ah. putting together a collection ah. of blogs. It's going to be self-published. Good. Uh, where with different topics like self-love, happiness, soulmates uh -huh. and all of this. Right, right. Are, there are more than 400, I think, uh -huh. uh, since all these years I have been writing and, and I sent a couple. If you want to receive them, you just have to subscribe. Okay. And then I'll okay. send you the gift letter and the blog and all of Perfect. this. I'm writing one about soulmates, the my story, my real mm -hmm. story, yeah. uh, with some uh, teachings also, uh -huh. and other things, but nothing is finished. I have a problem. Like I like to start books. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you <laughs> so much for coming on and giving us these bits of your, your insights into both uh, soulmates and uh, life purpose. And I hope to have you again on so we can continue the conversation. Oh, yeah. that, Judith. Will be, that will be such a pleasure. It's so easy to talk to you, Claudia. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then as many times as you want. All I right. Then I'll say, as we say in Italy, arrivederci. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Judith. Bye-bye. Lots of love to everyone.